Okay, in this video I'm going to show how to do an AC simulation to effectively create a Bode plot for a circuit, or a circuit's output. So here's my LT spice window, let's start a new schematic, and I'm just going to make a simple RC circuit at first. So I'm going to place my voltage source here, I'll press R on the keyboard to get a resistor, Again, uh, control R rotates that. Click C for a capacitor. Place that there. I'll make a ground right here. And then wire them all together in a loop to make an RC low pass filter circuit. There we go. Okay, so to do an AC simulation, I can set the DC voltage of the voltage source, but that's not going to do anything in an AC simulation. Um, you can still put it there, but it's not going to do anything. So we need to click on Advanced. And over here in the small signal AC analysis box, you can set the amplitude and the phase of that voltage source. So if I set it to an AC amplitude of 1, that's 0 decibels, because log base 10 of 1 is 0. So that's pretty convenient, because we always plot the output of these things in decibels. So you can set it to something else if you want, but if you only have one source, it's usually convenient to set it to a 1, so it's 0 decibels. And then phase, I'm not going to put anything in for phase, because um, this doesn't have a phase relative to anything else. So leaving that blank is fine. Now it'll say AC1 down here. It looks like it's moved a little bit, so I'm going to move it there so it's visible. Okay, so um, the corner frequency of an RC circuit set up like this is 1 over 2 pi RC. So I calculated that if I make this a 1 kilo ohm resistor, and if I make this a 159 nanofarad capacitor, that gives me a corner frequency of roughly 1 kilohertz. Um, uh, which will be good for illustration purposes. So let's now add in an AC simulation. So I'm going to go to Edit Simulation Command here, click on AC Analysis. And um, now I can do a whole bunch of different types of sweeps, which just places the points on the x-axis differently. If I do Octave, an octave is a doubling of frequency, so that means you have the same number of points every time the frequency doubles. So like from 1k to 2k, there might be 100 points, and then 2k to 4k, there's 100 points, then 4k to 8k. Um, if I do decade, that's every multiple of 10 in frequency, so from 1k to 10k, and then from 10k to 100k, there would be the same number of points. Linear is just a linear sweep. We in Bode plots, we always have a logarithmic x-axis, so it makes more sense to do a decade or an octave sweep. Um, and then list is where you get to list a custom number of points that you want to simulate at. I'm going to do decade, just because it's probably the uh, most common. So I'll, I'll say 100 points per decade. You can do more than that, but this circuit's not very interesting, so that's plenty. Let's go from 1 hertz all the way to 1 megahertz. Now I place that on the schematic. I'm going to save this as AC sweep and let's simulate. So if I click on this node right here, this little um, voltage probe will come up and if I click on that I see that the output is totally flat here from 1 hertz all the way to 1 megahertz, which makes sense because this isn't being filtered. It's set by the voltage source. It's always at 0 dB or 0 milli dB in this case because the plot is very zoomed in. Now if I click with the voltage probe on this node, we can see the low pass filtering going on. Um, the solid blue line is the magnitude and the dotted line is the phase. So the magnitude corresponds to the x-axis on the left, and the dotted line for phase corresponds to the x-axis on the, or the y-axis on the right. 
And it does look like the corner frequency here is about one kilohertz, so the minus three dB point, yeah, is right around there, uh, around one kilohertz. So since it's one over two pi RC, if I make the capacitor bigger, the corner frequency is gonna go down. So let's make that 1.59 microfarads. And re-simulate by clicking the run button. And yeah, we can see that the corner frequency went down to 100 hertz now, roughly. Now, um, if I go 15.9 nanofarads, so that's a factor of 10 in the other direction, it's going to go way up. So now I have, um, you know, around uh, 10 kilohertz corner frequency here. So now let's change that to be an RL circuit instead of an RC circuit. This is going to be a high pass filter rather than a low pass filter. And um, the corner frequency for this one is R over 2 pi L. The time constant is L over R, so the corner frequency is 1 over 2 pi time constant. So that gives me R over 2 pi L. And so I calculated then that to get a corner frequency of 1 kilohertz, I need this to be 159 millihenries. So if we simulate that, yeah, I get a high pass filter. Let's get rid of the input because I don't care about that. I get a high pass filter effect uh, with the corner frequency being about 1 kilohertz here. So that's where it's around minus 3 dB. You can see that in the lower left corner here when I hover over the graph. So um, since it's R over 2 pi L, if I make the L bigger, the corner frequency goes down. So let's make that 1.59 Henry's and re-simulate. Yep, the corner frequency went down. So now let's go in the other direction, 15.9 millihenries, re-simulate, and the corner frequency went up to about 10 kilohertz. Yep. So that's how you run an AC simulation on a basic circuit and get an output that effectively looks like the Bode plot.